So you clicked on this video and you're probably a little confused. Like why would some random kid be better than the GOAT, the King, the legend, Michael Jordan? Well, I'll show you why. Today, I will be seeing if I'm a better basketball player than Michael Jordan. Wait, the video you're about to watch continues at this time on the screen, but I gotta say a few words before we start. First off, guys, I wanna thank you all so much for 2,000 subscribers. That's a lot of people, if you really think about it, just 2,000, that's a lot. So I appreciate every single person who subscribed and everyone who didn't, you know what to do, just subscribe, you know. It'll help me out a lot and it won't hurt you at all. It's also free, obviously. Yeah, thank you all for 2,000 subscribers. Once again, I appreciate it. Anyway, let's head on to this video because it's a crazy one. Peace out. Okay, we're back to the video now. So if you don't know, a few months back, I actually did the same video except with Steph Curry. If you haven't saw that video, it's a really crazy one. So anyway, how this video is going to work is I have three total contests that I will be competing head to head versus Michael Jordan. The three contests we will be doing is a little three point percentage contest. Next, we will do a free throw percentage contest. And then to finish it off, we will be doing a intense dunk contest. Now that you guys get how this video is going to work, it is finally time to head into it. Let's go. So like I said earlier, the first competition is a three-point percentage contest. How this is going to work is, as you can see on the screen right here, we have Michael Jordan's career three-point percentage. It is 3.27, which means if you do the math, he makes around three out of ten three-point shots. Not going to lie, I feel like I can do a little better than that. Anyway, how I'm going to compete in this challenge is I'm going to take a total of 23 point shots. And all I have to do to win this challenge is make over six of those shots. It shouldn't be too hard. You guys know I am a really good three-point shooter. Oh, I feel like I can at least get 10. Let's get started. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's okay, it's okay. It's only my second shot of the day. Oh my God. One for five. Let's go. Okay, obviously we're having a slow start, just one for 10. I promise you guys, I actually am a pretty good shooter. I'm just struggling right now. Two for 12. Okay, three shots to go and I have made five of 17. That means I just need to make two more shots to beat Michael Jordan in this first contest. Let's go. That was clutch. You guys already know I'm a super clutch player. Let's drain these last two. Final shot. If I make it, I win competition number one. But if I miss, I don't know what's gonna happen. I guess I'll make up like an overtime or something. So we both average six for 20. Okay, so I was doing some thinking and I just thought of a good idea. I'm gonna shoot like a really far three and if I make the three, I win the challenge. But if I miss, we'll give the challenge to Michael Jordan. Here we go from this spot right here. Oh, that is it for challenge number one. Give it up for Michael Jordan. One nothing him. Let's go on to challenge number two. Okay, so if you remember in the beginning of the video, I mentioned the second challenge will be a free throw or free throw percentage competition. And if you don't know, Michael Jordan shines on the free throw line. He actually has the sixth best free throw percentage in the entire league. He drains about 80% of his three throws, free throws, which if you do the math, round it down, it is eight out of 10. And then if you round it up a little bit more, it's 16 out of 20. Just like the three point competition, I'm gonna take 20 free throws. If I make over 16, I win the challenge. Okay, just so you guys know I'm not cheating. As you can see, a free throw line is 15 free feet from the hoop. I got a tape measure. Okay. 
15 feet. <sighs> let's do it. I feel like I can do pretty good on this. Also, let's get the crowd chanting so it adds a little more pressure. Okay, surprisingly, I have a really good start going. We are 10 for 10. I promise you guys I'm not faking this. I told you I'm pretty good at free throws. Okay, let's finish up these final 10. All I have to do is make seven more and then I win the challenge. No. It's okay, it's okay. 12 for 13, seven shots to go. No. This isn't good. I'm starting to choke a little bit. 13 for 15. <sighs> I need a camera angle change again. No. I'm starting to fall apart. We have two shots to go. 15 for 18. All I need to do is make these final two when I win the challenge. Okay, final shot. No cuts or anything. I'm going to drain this one. I am actually really surprised that I shot that well on free throws. 17 for 20. That equals almost 90% from three throw, free throw. But anyway, you guys know what that means. It is one to one now, and it is time for the final challenge. Let's go to it. Change of direction by Brian. All right, guys, it is now time to see who the greatest basketball player of all time is. Is it me or Michael Jordan? Let's find out. So the competition we will be doing to decide who the greatest basketball player of all time is, is a dunk contest. If you don't know, back in 1987, I believe, Michael Jordan won a dunk contest. And not gonna lie, the dunks he did were pretty impressive, but I think I can do better. So basically, how this dunk contest is gonna work is Michael Jordan's gonna do five dunks, I'll put them on the screen, and then I'll do five dunks. And after we both finish all five of our dunks, you guys are actually gonna decide the winner of this challenge. So after you see both of our five dunks, you're gonna head down to the comments and comment who won the dunk contest. So yeah, basically you guys are gonna decide who the greatest basketball player of all time is. Don't just pick Michael Jordan because you know, the media thinks he's the best. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's time to start doing some dunks. Let's roll Michael Jordan's first dunk on the screen. Not bad, it's time for me to do a dunk. Ugh. I don't know if the windmill is that big, but yeah, now let's go on to Michael Jordan's second dunk. We'll give it to him, that was a pretty impressive dunk. But now it's my turn again. Whoa. Now let's see what Michael Jordan's got for his third dunk. Okay, sheesh. I was not expecting that. He pulled out a crazy dunk. I'm sure you all have seen that before. It's the iconic free throw line dunk like that he did. Okay, as you can see, I'm bringing out the mini trampoline. Since Michael Jordan wants to do really far dunks, I guess I should do one too. I'm gonna go a little bit closer. All right, both of us now have two dunks to go. Not gonna lie, I feel like these dunks have been pretty even so far. I don't know, maybe you guys, aka the judges, think differently. Let's roll Michael Jordan's next dunk. In danger of being eliminated, 46. And okay, that one wasn't as crazy as his other ones. I feel like I could take the upper hand if I do a crazy dunk right now. Oh. Okay, unfortunately the sun blocked my eye, so I couldn't tell if that one in. Oh, let's go. Whew, I'm tired, but anyway, we are now onto the final dunk. Let's see what Michael Jordan's got. Petition. Second dunk in the semifinal. Okay, that was a crazy dunk. It's gonna be tough to beat. It's gonna be tough to beat, but I can do it. 
whatever. Oh. Okay. That was actually a lot simpler than I expected. If you couldn't tell what I did, I'm trying to do a 360 windmill. I feel like I can get this. That is it for all of the dunks. Like I said earlier, you guys are the judges. So you guys get to pick who won this challenge. Okay, now that the video is over, I can finally mention this. I obviously don't think I'm as good as Michael Jordan. I mean, I'm close, but obviously I'm not better than him. You guys still comment who you think won the dunk contest though. But guys, once again, thank you all so much for 2,000 subscribers. I've been a little bit busy lately. That's why I haven't been posting as much. But yeah, expect some crazy videos coming up soon. If you want to see more videos from me, click one of these two. And if you want to subscribe, click over here. Other than that, I hope you all did enjoy today's video. And I am out. Peace! Here is a secret word. Go into the comments right now and comment that word just so I see who watches the entire video. But yeah, peace out.